Welcome back YouTube friends, Kalos Harisate, and welcome to Mom's Greek Kitchen, the channel where I teach you my mom's Greek recipes in her honor. Today we're making a traditional Christmas cookie, Melo Macarona. I know, another one of those long Greek names, Melo Macarona. Uh, it's an orange and spice cookie uh, that is dipped in a honey syrup once it's uh, finished baking and then sprinkled with cinnamon and ground walnuts. It's an awesome cookie, my favorite cookie. So let's get cooking. All right, time to start. So, I'm starting with our liquids. So I've got our sugar in there. I've got our orange zest in there. All the ingredients will be on the recipe card. I'm adding our honey. I'm adding our egg yolks. Our olive oil. And our vegetable oil. So, as you notice, there's quite a bit of oil in this cookie, which makes them a very short cookie. Um, they're actually quite nice before they're dipped in this, the honey syrup, but they're better once the honey syrup, of course, goes into them. But they're a nice uh, short cookie, great for dipping in coffee or tea um, before they are dipped in honey. So uh, you can basically make it two ways. So I will start the beater now. And we're going to mix this for about 10 minutes. All right, welcome back. So, our next step is to mix our spices, our cloves and cinnamon and our salt, into most of the flour, not all of it, because you don't know how much you're gonna need at the end. So mix most of your spices into your flour, as well as your baking powder. And give it a good mix to distribute the spices. And we'll set that aside. That's going to go in right after our next step. Our next step is we're going to mix our orange juice with our baking soda and then we're going to beat it into the oil mixture that's already in our mixer. And then we're going to gradually add our spiced flour and then we'll add enough more flour, plain flour, to get to a stiff dough that is easily shaped and doesn't crack too much when you handle it. Um, it is a short dough, like I said, so it handles a little differently than normal cookie dough. Um, and I'll show you that as we get to that point. So I'm going to start the beater, so it's a little loud. Um, so uh, just so you know what's going on. All right, here we go. So I'm going to add the baking soda to the orange juice, and it's going to start to froth, and I'm going to immediately put it into the oil mixture. Start adding the spiced flour. Normally I have my splash card on, but you guys can't really see, so hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. about six cups. Let's see where that gets us. It 
it's really still quite soft. It, uh, if I put that in the oven, it would just turn into a flat uh, disc. So I'm going to add some more flour. It's a matter of feel and, and texture. I'll try and show you what it looks like when it's at the proper level. And I'll turn this down because it's not going to make a mess. That was my lowest speed. I think we're good. So, as you can see, it's a pliable dough that holds its shape. Um, it's still pretty soft. Uh, you want to be able to form it into a ball and then you're going to do an elongated shape similar to that. I'll show you better when it's on the uh, baking sheet but that's pretty much what we want. I'm going to think I may add just a tiny bit maybe a half a spoonful more flour just to tighten it up just a little bit. I've got our, our cookie dough made. I am uh, using a uh, cookie scoop just so they're all the same size. I'm using a, uh, I think it's a one tablespoon uh, cookie scoop. Um, so I made a ball. I'm now gonna, oops, and as you can see it's kind of short and if you don't squeeze it together it will break up on you. So you form a ball and then you make an elongated sausage shape. And then you're going to put it down and you're going to give it two points like a marquee. And you're going to flatten the top down because it will, they will spread. And that's sort of the shape, the traditional shape that you want. So it's a flattened marquee. Uh, put them about an inch apart because they do spread. And I've got my oven heating to 375 degrees, which like I told you, mom did everything at, pretty much. So again, we've got our little sausage. We're going to point the ends. We're going to flatten the top. And you want them lower on this side than the top, so that when they're baked, they come out like a rounded um, marquee, which is a traditional shape for Melo Macarena, or they're also called Fenicia. We call them Melo Macarena in our family. I think uh, Fenicia are a more northern name, but I'm not sure. All right, so I'm going to keep going until I finish uh, a cookie sheet um, or two, and uh, then I'm going to put them in the oven, bake them until they're a nice golden brown, uh, darker on the bottom than the top, of course. Uh, the other unusual thing about the Mello Macarena is is that you want to um, cool them under layers of uh, towels. So mom would have uh, several bath sheet sized towels that she would lay out and wrap her cookies in while they cooled. Um, we let them cool overnight um, and then uh, or a couple hours anyway and then they would get dipped in the honey syrup which I will show you in a uh, part two um, but after they're cooled, they are uh, ready to be eaten if you like them slightly less sweet and more short. So I will show you when they come out of the oven. I will be back to show you that. All right. Bye for now. Um, I'm just going to show you the difference between the raw cookies and the baked cookies size-wise. So these are the ones I've... Uh, already uh, formed and shaped. It's using the one tablespoon scoop. I'm going to actually measure that. It might be an actual two tablespoon scoop, um, but I'll find out and let you know. But I get two dozen on a cookie sheet. And now uh, these are the raw ones. 
and these are the baked ones so as you can see they do puff up quite nicely um, I would say they're almost double in size um, you want them a nice deep brown Let's see if I can get a bit close up and we want a nice uh, hot, a nice uh, deep gold on the bottom but you don't want to burn them so now these are going to go on the cookie sheet or the towel here that I have spread out it's a double thickness and once I have them out on the uh, towel they're going to uh, be covered with another double uh, thick towel and uh, allow to cool the subsequent cookies are going to go right on top of these ones so that's not a problem they're uh, pretty sturdy they're not a, a very delicate cookie but they do points will break off and stuff if you're not careful so you want to be a little delicate with them I think these bake for about half an hour but I will time these ones actually remind myself to do that and see how long they actually take and I will let you know more precisely uh, I am I do use the oven thermometer and my oven is at exactly 375 and I will see you when uh, the next batch is done welcome back everyone all right so I finished making the cookies there are 64 in the batch um, at a tablespoon and a half size I measured my scoop and it's a tablespoon and a half um, and these are about I would say three inches by inch and a half in diam in um, size so you can uh, guesstimate um, what you want to make you can make slightly smaller ones um, I wouldn't go much bigger these are a good uh, two three bite cookie um, I'll hold one for reference so that's about the size they are um, across my fingers um, so yeah I'm gonna guess about three inches or so um, I will break one up just to show you how um, short they are so they break pretty easily there are they will crumble so they're uh, quite a short cookie um, and they do taste good at this point but they're not very sweet they only have a cup of sugar in that whole batch um, they get a lot of their sweetness from the uh, honey syrup which we will put on them tomorrow so I'm gonna cover these guys up oh it took exactly half an hour at 375 by my uh, oven thermometer uh, a separate oven thermometer not the built-in they're never accurate or very rarely accurate so um, yeah we're gonna let these cool and we will come back to them when they're cool tomorrow we will make the honey syrup for them uh, dip them uh, decorate them with the cinnamon and the ground almonds and uh, I usually put them into individual um, muffin uh, papers or cupcake papers to keep them from sticking to each other and they look pretty in a, in a white or a silver or something of that sort all right so uh, thank you very much for watching and I will uh, see you in part two take care bye bye